Well, guys, he said, we know what we have to do to beat this team because we've already done it once this year. And when I asked him about changing things up in the second meeting, he said, why would we? Until they prove they can handle us, we're not changing a thing. Sounds like he's pretty happy with the formula that won that first game. The conference finals. A lot of talking out there, too, huh? Yeah. Were you, were, you, were you a talking big talker? Were you? Yes, I loved it. <laughs> Plus, you're in broadcasting. <laughs> I see the connection. I've been waiting. I finally have figured it out. And now a chance, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. The starting five on the floor. And so in the game for the Jazz, Favors and Gobert, the defensive big men pair. Young is up there with Lee, and it's Johnson. And Young outside. Gobert with a screen for Young. To the paint, here's Johnson. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Yeah, and just superb work there by Young. So unselfish with the basketball. Really likes getting the ball to his teammate. Hit by Moskov. Williams gets to Clarkson. And off the front iron and in it. Utah needs to get off a shot here. Johnson gets the bucket. For Utah, they've gone two or three here to start off the game. There's Lee with the three. Drills it from outside. Yeah, suffering from a very cold start. They've already missed four out of five from the field. Lee outside. Feeds it to Favors. Goes up the baseline. And a big pound. He puts the ball on the deck and uses his quickness to get past you. You almost always have to foul him to prevent him from getting to the basket. And he shoots a high percentage from the line. And Utah has possession. Fresh from a win against the Nuggets. And how about the game plan that was constructed for that one? I mean, it was apparent how powerless the D was to stop him. Really? Out in his own on the break. And slam dunk by Ingram. Span of England really causing the opposition a number of problems. Williams against Young kicks to Gobert. Now the feed to Lee. Gobert with a screen on Moskov. Lee dishes to Favors. Back to Lee. Launches it. That's good. And it's his fourth basket of the game. He's a strong four Let's for go, six. And they're up. getting there. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Williams passes to Mozgov, down low. And with that, the Jazz lead is cut to just one in the basket from Ingram. Ingram's got four points now in the quarter. Young inside. He's covered by Clarkson. Gobert with a screen for Lee. Inside. And Gobert with the basket on the assist button. second quarter of action as we approach four minutes play and still shooting well from beyond the arc that their percentage down a bit in this quarter but still respected their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he in transition here come the jams Perez finishing off the play with the dunk he won't miss it Ingram this is to Williams to the inside. Here's Mozgov. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Williams. And it's seven points ahead. Wirtis, he's checked in for Clarkson. Johnson, he's checked in for Utah. Off the pick. Good. He hits the jump shot. And that's how you do it, guys. Ball pressure and then get some runouts. Johnson with it. Williams picks him up. Let's it go from 11. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. Johnson's got six. <laughs> wow, risky shot there size-wise. But the incredible skill that he possesses allows that one to go. Some players have a hard time when they're giving up so many inches. But he doesn't. Young passes to Gobert. Lee outside. Gobert with a screen on Moskov. Off the screen. And Lee with the stuff. And, and nobody, guys, among the defenders you. stepping up to challenge him on that drive to the 10. And, Greg, he says, thank you very much, and sails in for the flush. If you're not going to at least step in front of him, you can't be surprised when he goes trail by seven. Williams kicks to Huertas. 
outside Dang. Dishes it to Mozgov. Williams inside the line. It's good. It's his second. Thanks, Kevin. No surprise. You played strong early on. What has been the change that's kept you so hot these last few games? Uh, you know, I've just been trying to get myself going earlier rather than waiting for the game to come to me, man. Uh, it's worked pretty well these last few games, so no reason to change things up now, man. Not with those results, right? Yes, sir. All right, man. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Now here's Lee. Bobs it up for Favors. And a slam dunk by Favors. The chemistry Favors has with his teammates is outstanding. Really. Kobe Bryant era that we're in. You know, the two-guard position has always been my favorite reason because that guy Houston could do it all. But I think the one thing they're missing right now, they don't post up anymore. I want to see the two guards at that size. Like what six, Chauncey five, Billups would do for six, instance? Six, six. Yeah. I mean, like Kobe. I mean, yeah. the guys that like, posted up. Uh, Wesley Matthews still posted up a little bit. They've sure. gone away from posting up. You have that skill at that two-guard position to post up, dribble the basket. Yeah, and over the course of the season, they're a respectable 78%. That comes in handy in close game. No stopping Ingram. Just rebuild. The franchise is used to championships, not rebuilding. In another word that they lack is superstar. Mm -hmm. You're not accustomed to seeing the Lakers without a true superstar on that ro roster. And, and they've also nervous? always been a top Should destination be. for the A-list free agents. For Utah, they have made two-thirds of their free throws tonight. Six of nine to be exact. The former third overall pick in the 2010 NBA draft, Derek Favors is a gifted big man and a crucial player for this team. Hey guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. And that one falls for Ingram. Handle and pass like a guard. One concern, though, he did shoot under 70% from the free throw line. And great shooters usually do better than that. He with the block, and he gets it back. A chance here to take a moment and compare the front court and back court scoring on the night for the Jazz. And it's Williams dishes to Mozgov. Williams against Young. Williams gets to Clarkson. Young with the steal. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the shot clock at six. Young for three. That was enough space for Young to convert the deep ball. And Young can knock those things checked in. And a switcher also for Utah. Levins is checked in. Yeah, and this squad loves Young. A, a true leader who knows how to put his team on his back when they need him to. Here's Ingram. And he connects with the jumper. Ingram's got ten points here in the second half. He has flat out dominated this quarter, hitting shots at will. Yet they still find themselves behind. Lee with the ball. Now guarded by Ingram. And good that time. And the Jazz lead by seven. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been tough. The way he threw that pass with such ease on the run, that was a thing of beauty. And Coach Quinn Snyder played the game at a very high level himself on a Washington State High School championship game. Uh, Led Duke is the starting point guard. He's got a good-looking resume. Yes, he does. Pretty savvy with this game of basketball. A baseline J, and the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point player for the Lakers. Larry Nance has checked in for Ingram. And D'Angelo Russell subbed in for Lou Williams. Gobert with a screen for Lee. Inside. It's tipped. The kick out to Young. Shoots a three. Connects from three-point range. Just a good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. Nice shot by Gobert. And for his career, Gobert has averaged better than 50% from the field. An efficient score in the post. Outside, Russell. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point. Lakers trail by 13. And Utah, looking at who they've got to start the fourth quarter. Lee, he's in a three. Favors is out there with Johnson. And it's Young, and it's Hood, and at the shooting guard position. 
Young's shot is off. And that's the shot he has to take. You just can't pass up wide open looks. You must shoot it. That shot wide open. Down to a single digit deficit for the Lakers. Johnson outside. Nice ball movement by Utah. Down low. Favors. And then Favors with the dunk. It takes a lot of skill to get. I guess uh, I guess that's something you always dream about. When you, when you get that kind of a, a chance to be drafted that high, nationally known player. But I think also for me, getting a chance to send my mom and dad. Flagellus, Williams with a clean look, and he's good on the free ball. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. And Young kicks to Johnson. Hands the 12-footer. And the Jazz lead by seven. Los Angeles has gone six of 14 with the three ball tonight. Just a little over 40 percent. It's in dishes to Ingram. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. And that's his second triple of the game. Had hit it. Mozgov's got seven rebounds in the game. Clarkson kicks to Mozgov. The feed to Ingram. To tie it up. Utah with the rebound. Lee's got his third rebound tonight. It's Young on the wing. Lee outside. To the middle, here's Johnson. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71 points in the quarter. Well, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Kicks it to Favors. Pass to Lee. Johnson left side, 11 feet away, and it goes down to Utah leading by three. Lee fires, and Utah again with the bucket. Beautiful pass to Williams. Back to Gobert. Tries to keep it alive. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot. So you The Frenchman, Rudy Gobert, really making an immediate impact with his rebounding and his shot-blocking ability. And Moscow throws it down. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Inside. And Lee with the stuff. It's right now. And it's Lee penetrating. Nice shot by Gobert. Gobert has got five points now in the quarter. Gobert using that seven foot one frame well on the glass, utilizing his size. They get the rebound. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. Come on, that's your bread and butter. You can't miss that. Williams dishes to Mazda. And taken away by Johnson. Over in the corner, Lee. Gets the three-pointer to fall. See too many guys who can put forth an effort on the boards like this one. He takes pride in how he crashes the glass. No one is getting in his way when he's in that area. Inside, here's Gobert. At basket number six to his stat sheet. He's now with his job. And so it's Utah with the win. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And, and Kevin, how about the mental toughness that this group showed? They, they were never yes. rattled at all by the opposing fans. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. See you later. What's going on, Prez? The guys back in the studio want to talk to you. Perfect. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. And Ernie Johnson here again with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny Smith. Without further ado, let's present our Jordan Player of the Game, Dub. Hey, what's up, man? This is Kenny, man. Great going tonight with your scoring. Did you come into the game with the mentality of saying, you know what, I'm going to be more aggressive tonight?
Uh, man, you know, I mean, I'm just out there playing my game. And sometimes that leads to a lot of points. Other times it doesn't. I guess I had a lot of opportunities tonight and then was able to take advantage. So there's not really much more to it than that. Well, yeah, man, if you keep up that mentality and you stay aggressive, I think that you'd have these opportunities more often. All right, thanks a lot, man. And that'll do it for this edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. For Kenny Smith, for Shaquille O'Neal, for Kevin Harlan, and for the entire 2K Sports crew, this is Ernie Johnson. I hope you have a wonderful, uh, even beyond wonderful, a spectacular, just great. I mean, see you. Good night. You played well, but your teammates struggled tonight. Can you speak on that a bit? Well, uh, what do you mean? Uh, well, Justice, for instance, had a really tough game. Do you feel like you can count on him night in and night out? Look, it was a rough game, and he knows it, and he definitely knows what he needs to work on. But nobody in this league works harder than that guy. And I'm telling you, you guys don't see what happens off the court, but the, the amount of time that he puts in makes us all better.